something in the mail here from um, I know a lot of people, they're going to have their doubts about buying stuff from But uh, I was actually able to find this the cheapest um, actually on their site for a little bit of a discount. It was on sale. This is the Woodcraft clip-ons with one inch uh, riser. Let's go ahead and check this out here. Packaging is actually done pretty good. Um, Woodcraft actually um, has instructions on their website, and it looks like it, it's actually in a PDF form, but the printed one actually looks exactly the same. Uh, they give you a couple of cool stickers here, uh, Woodcraft stickers. You get two of them. Put them on, um, you know, decals. Put them on your bike or whatever. Uh, anyways, let's go ahead and get these. Uh, they got the bolts. These are the. Riser bolts for the one inch clip-ons. These are additional uh, bolts and everything like that. Hold it for the purple tree. Those aside. And I'm going to assume that this is probably one of the handlebars. Let's try and take a look. And I believe the stock ones uh, from Woodcraft are actually 12 inches. But they do have, I believe, 13 or 13 and a half inches. So if you want to put some like extra stuff um, basically above the clip-on you can maybe like a uh, ram mount or something like that or a GPS it is not pre-drilled so I have no idea how you're gonna be, be able to put bar ends in there um, it looks like there is like a plastic cap at the very end of it I'm not exactly sure this is the other handlebar let's go ahead and take a look at the there's actually the clip-ons right here Nothing fancy or anything like that, shrink wrapped. This is 12 0409 AP, whatever that means. I believe this is a T6 aluminum, correct me if I'm wrong. There it is, boom. It's got Woodcraft logos, I believe, on both sides. So, this actually, um, what they said is it's universal, it can go either um, this way this side or you can flip around what they said and uh, go a little bit lower for a more aggressive look and uh, riding position. One of the most important things about doing a DIY or maybe some type of modification to your motorcycle is you're gonna you want to have the right tools. Um, I got a bunch of sockets here it's mostly a metric I got SAE as well breaker bar or you can use a torque wrench as well as well um, Allen keys um, you know you got your screwdriver flatheads and all that uh, wrench if you need something Okay, so before we're going to be installing the Woodcraft clip-ons, we need to remove everything off the existing handlebar. Uh, the mirrors, the uh, the grips, the throttle, the clutch, and all that. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So I removed the bolt for the clutch lever and also for the left mirror torque wrench or a breaker bar. And you can use a number 8 to actually get the bar end off. Almost done with the left side of the handlebar. And what I used was actually Goo Gone. I used a little bit of Goo Gone and you can use, I believe some people have uh, tried hairspray. Um, they can also use a air compressor as well. Uh, some people actually, they don't even need this anymore. So what they do is they actually go to the extreme and they actually cut it halfway and then just not even use the, um, the original part. But uh, I want to make sure I have an extra spare of hand grips if I ever do need them. So I just uh, use a little bit of Goo Gone and a little bit of force as well. And you're actually able just to twist it right off. All right, so now I got pretty much the left side completely done. It didn't take no more than 10 minutes to get everything all pretty much loosened up and removed. And let's go ahead and start with the right side. One thing you want to be careful when you actually start removing the handlebar is that the handlebar is actually going to drop down and it might hit your tank. You want to make sure that you don't have any uh, nuts or bolts scratch your tank as well. So uh, just be sure you have like some type of rag. and also everything off of it, 
Uh, I want to say it's probably better to use two people. Uh, four hands is going to be a lot better for this. I was able to push the right side instrument to, the, to as far to the handlebar as possible, and then that'll give me enough space for the cables on the right side to slowly slide directly off of there. I'm able to now remove the left side completely off. So I'm going to be keeping most of the original stock stuff. I'm not going to be doing any modifications at all. So I have the stock left side. I have the uh, hand grip and I also have the clamp. And then for the right side, I have the bar end and also the clamp here as well. But I'm actually going to be removing the uh, hand grip from that throttle body because I'm going to be installing um, a new set of hand grips. And they are going to be the Pro Grip Soft Touch Superbike. Um, let's see here. These are the Pro Grip 725. Uh, these are the Evo Black and Titanium. Um, I got these off of eBay. I want to say they were like maybe like 15, 20 bucks. Uh, made in Italy. Um, I actually had these on my old CBR 600RR. I'm not sure if they're the 725s, but these are super, super comfortable, really nice and soft. And hopefully they're gonna be able to help with a little bit of the vibration control as well. While I was digging around here and getting everything set up for the grips, I did notice that the pro grips that I did actually buy, uh, they're not actually cut through. So what I'm gonna to have to do is I'm gonna to have to use like a utility knife, exacto knife basically to make a little hole here. That way I can get it onto the handlebar and actually have that bar end come out. And uh, right here, this little stubby part, this is actually going to be the, um, I guess this is like the bar end, to be honest with you. I don't know, like let's say your right handlebar uh, basically gets damaged, or if you do go down, um, you just only have to replace this little bar. And I guess you can get these uh, aftermarket ones. You can just replace them pretty quickly and easily as well. Uh, the only downside is that if you do go down, um, you're going to have to pre-drill the holes um, again, uh, which isn't probably too bad as well. install the Woodcraft adapter plate here it says that we need to use a Loctite on these four bolts here hand tightness so it's actually not going to fall off. Before we start bolting on here, the top left clamp area, you want to make sure that's also flush. Front right, this area where the flashlight is uh, on right now directly, that's flush. I want to make sure the front is flush as well, which I've already checked. Should be right there. Start tightening up all the bolts. Alrighty, so now I'm drilling the hole for the left side. Uh, I got the drill already um, taken care of. And now let's go ahead and get this installed here. So as you can see where I drilled the hole, that's actually where it's gonna line up right here on this control. Let's go, go ahead and thread it in slightly carefully. And also while I'm doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and get my mirror and my clutch. Make sure that hole actually lines up with a dot in there. Um, it's actually on the back side of there. I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but it's gonna be right there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and twist and see if it'll lock into place. Alrighty, it's actually already engaged in there. 
So I can go ahead and tighten this and also this as well. I'm just gonna hand tighten this one and then go ahead and tighten the screws as well. And there's actually two of them on this control right here. Uh, just a regular Phillips screwdriver is actually gonna work. Actually, I'm gonna see if I can slide this in here. That way it'll at least I'll get half of the process taken care of. All right, so I'm just gonna let that dangle there for a quick second. Grab my screwdriver. I actually had the ProGrip installed on there and then I kind of measured with my eye uh, where I had to pre-drill that hole there. So just to give you guys a rough idea. So I just finished drilling the holes on the right side and I just wanted to mention that uh, the hole for this one on the right side is actually different than the one on the left side. The left side is just slightly a little bit bigger. Um, I'm not exactly sure why, but there's actually two different sizes here. All right, so let's go ahead and get these controls hooked up. Snaking everything in here. So I got them all hooked up right now. So we have the throttle assembly hooked up, the kill switch uh, ignition, body assembly, the, actually I don't have this timed up yet, uh, but it's going to be the front brake reservoir and also the mirror. Um, haven't found the right angle that I wanted it to be uh, positioned at, but I'm just going to go ahead and finish up on the kill switch. So the adapter and also the grip should roughly hang around, I don't know, I want to say like maybe like right around here is good. But um, also just uh, adjusting the angle is going to be probably the last part and I should be good to go from there. Let's see if I can give you guys a view of what it pretty much almost looks like, uh, about 90% done. Uh, what I need to do is also um, put the hand grip onto the left side and then um, should be pretty much all good to go from there and obviously uh, reposition the angle for the left side controls and also the mirror and the clutch as well. But overall, uh, woodcraft, uh, high quality, uh, took a little bit, little bit of time, but uh, the instructions are really easy to do. Uh, you just gotta take your time, be patient. All right, so that is pretty much it. Uh, total time, I wanna say roughly three to four hours. I'll see if I can get out there and uh, do a review as well, see how the uh, angles are and everything like that. If you guys like this video, be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and also check out my next video coming up here pretty soon.